I'm at a I'm at a transition stage in life right now. Uh, just a lot of different personal things going on. Um, with my, I think the biggest, I'll, I'll put it in an aspect to this. The biggest thing I didn't do soon enough was set up my LLC, um, because that's taken a toll on different things that I'm now working through. Sure. Um, not only that, um, also swapping it over to an S corp because of the amount of money we make, you know, yeah. um, and, and how that affects the day to day and everything. Um, because where I'm at now, like said, I've had people reach out to me on LinkedIn and say, Hey, look, I see like I'm in San Antonio and you're in Houston. I don't mind if I drive your way just to ride along with you for a week, like, or a day or two, like, is that cool? And, you know, I would love to help out, but also be able to give them a, you know, a paycheck for the day or something just to be like, Hey, look, like, I know you're just coming here just because you want to learn, but I also, that takes time out of your day, you know, even if it's, I'm able to pass some gas money or something. Um, so the S corp will help me do that. in a lot of training, I even have my younger brother, he's 22, potentially want to come on the road with me, but it's just like, dude, like if you're coming on the road, I want to be able to pay you for what you're here for. You know, it's not free to be on the road. Um, right. Right. So if I would have done that sooner, I could already be at a position to be doing something like that. So I'm trying to get some things figured out. Um, in that aspect of things, which are super beneficial just for the future. Um, in regards to like claims and, and where I'm at, at and everything, I have a very unique, uh, relationship, uh, with a few people, um, who are like inventory specialists, right. Uh, for the firms, um, because, because I've said yes to them and because I'm willing to travel, um, I'm not aware if they call other people first, but I know that my name gets called and, uh, or, you know, they're talking about me in office and my name gets called. And then I've got a text message or a phone call saying, Hey, look, you want to go here for a couple of weeks? Uh, that's how my Pennsylvania thing happened last year. Um, I was only in Pennsylvania. Then they're like, Hey, you want to take some jobs in West Virginia? I'm like, sure. Hey, do you want some jobs in Ohio? Sure. Hey, do you mind going to, uh, Maryland? I'm like the two hour drive, but sure. <laughs> like, yeah. so I'm thankful to be in that position to where it's just like, they know that they can just text me or call me. And as long as I'm not doing something, uh, or in the middle of, you know, something large, then I'm for sure. Like I'm, I'm, I'm down. Um, because like I said, it's kind of just that reset. Sometimes that's all it is. Once you get to the new place and now I'm like, Oh, what do you guys do around here? You know, um, then it's a, it's a good set. So as far as being like in the Northeast right now, I'm super good with things. I actually have a buddy waiting to see about me going, uh, to do some work in California. Um, I wouldn't okay. say that that's my first choice of places to go or to ever have gone, but, um, if I go to California, I get a split of Airbnb with him. Uh, we're both running for the same carrier. Uh, if he has any questions, he can, you know, we're basically across the hall from each other. Um, it's super funny because I helped train him when we were in Seattle. Um, didn't know the guy. He's from Florida. I'm from Texas. And you know, I told my management, look, if there's anybody who needs help, you know, let me know. There's extra rooms at the Airbnb. And then at one point we had four guys in that Airbnb. Um, go out, to, we'd go out to dinner, you know, after a long week, um, just kind of decompress and everything. Um, yep. so that's an option for the future. I would think the best thing, which we may need to do another, uh, another video on down the road for is sure. I am in the process of, uh, obtaining a Ford transit and doing a full build out. Uh, for a mobile really? office. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you plan on doing that? Um, so it's really going to take, like, it's going to go from, well, we'll say we're at like 30% right now. I'm doing some drawings and different things, trying to get in touch with some people in Texas. Uh, I've sent out some feelers and stuff. If I go to California, we're going from like zero to 2000, like in a month, like everything will be on the roll because it's really big in California. Um, it's like nomad living, people off grid and whatnot. Oh yeah. Um, but I would be full solar panels, uh, Starlink, uh, Wi-Fi. Um, my ladders would be in there. I'd have a full bed, full desk, triple monitor, little kitchenette. Uh, I mean, 
rolling up to an inspection, almost like a State Farm staff adjuster. Yeah. But yep. mine, mine, mine would be fully set out to, I can either do paperwork in your driveway, I'll find an anytime fitness to park at, you know, and and like there's no more. Let me take the you know two hour drive back home. I'm just yeah. passing out in the back, and all your paperwork's turned in. You know, that night there's no travel time that I'm having to worry about at that point. This video is sponsored by the multinational I firm Crawford and Company. To learn more, get exclusive training from Crawford, and get on their roster, visit crawco.com/cat. Here's what's coming up next, right here on Adjuster TV.